call to worship. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Amen. Now we will have present worship. Jina, 
vya kufahamu wewe ulie Mungu wa kale na ulie Mungu wa leo kazi zako zaonyesha ukuu wako wewe umetukuka umeinuliwa ewe bwana vizazi vizazi hadi vizazi vya kufahamu wewe Fahamu wewe Ulie Mungu wa kale na ulie Mungu wa leo kazi zako zaonyesha ukuu wako wewe umetukuka umeinuliwa ewe bwana Wewe wa ajabu 
Wajabu Wewe waajabu Mfalme wa wafalme Mwenye enzi Tunakuwabu Oh wajabu Wajabu Father Jesus, O oh God, you're the King of kings and the Lord of lords, Father Christ God. Father, nothing or no one, God, can be compared, God, by your power, God, Jesus Christ God. Father, at this moment, Father Christ God, I dedicate, Father God, this service unto you, Father Jesus Christ God. Father God, may you speak to us, Father, through us, Father God, and within us, Father Jesus Christ God. Father God, I thank you, Father, because of each and every one, God, who is at home, Father God, and wherever, Father God, that they are, Father Jesus God, Father God. 
God, I pray for your guidance. Father God, I pray for your love. Father Jesus God, Father God, I pray God for your protection. Father Christ God, Father God, I pray for the controlling. Father God of the Holy Spirit, Father of their brains, God of their souls, Father Christ God, of their bodies, Father, so that God, anything they speak, Father God, anything, Father, that they think, Father Christ, Father, may it, God, Father God, come from you, Father Jesus Christ God. Father God, I know, Father God, that you know God the desires, Father God, of each and everyone's heart, Father Jesus God, because God, you knew us, Father Jesus God, even, Father, be before God, we are born, Father Jesus Christ, God. Father God, I thank you, Father, because you're providing, Jesus Christ, God. Father, I thank you, Father, because you're delivering, Jesus Christ, God. Father, I thank you, Father, because you're teaching, Father God, Jesus Christ, God. And Father Christ, God, as we continue this service, Father God, may we hear from you, Jesus Christ, God. And Father God, may we learn from you, Jesus, God. Father, we bless your holy name and we glorify you because there's none like you, Jesus. Know this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on us as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I shall welcome the read of the first reading. Our reading comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 28 to 31. And it says, Have you not known, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the God at the creator of ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. He understands, he understands, is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and to him who has not who has no might, he increases strength. Even youth shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength, and they shall mount up their wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. That's the word. Thanks be to God. Our second reading will be from Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to that. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That is the word of the Lord.
Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for this opportunity you've given us to come and seek uh, your face, oh dear Lord. We pray that you may continue to shower your grace, your love, and your power upon our lives, oh dear Lord. We need to be strengthened. Even as we listen to your word, Jehovah God, open our hearts that we may receive only what comes from you, Jehovah God. We thank you for this opportunity. May you speak through us. And to us, my Father, use me, O oh dear Lord, as a vessel. Father Almighty, to reach out to the hearts of men, O oh dear Master, that they may listen and get the revelation of your word this morning. We bless you. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Praise in worship. May God bless you and do you good as you continue to serve God uh, in this time and season. Praise God. I believe uh, you are well kept of the Lord and it's such an awesome moment as we come together to hear and listen to what God has in store for us this morning. I believe the Lord has kept you and has continually fought your battles. It doesn't matter what we have, uh, we have gone through the month of July and as we come to the end of it and uh, as we enter the month of uh, August, I believe God has something in store for you and for me and we keep on trusting God. At the end time, we shall see his goodness. At the end time, we shall see his mercies working in our lives to his honor and glory. My name is Dokas with Eran Jorogi. I'm born again this morning and I bless the Lord because in his faithfulness, I have a testimony that he, he can keep and sustain us even amidst all the turmoils and all the things that we are going through over this season. And uh, I trust that he will keep on fighting and walking with me uh, in this season and time. May God bless us even as we prepare our hearts to listen what God has in store for us this day to his honor and glory. And now as we enter the month of August, you know that the month of July, we've been talking about uh, the vessels of transformation. We are the vessels of transformation. And today being the first Sunday of August, we, uh, we are starting a new theme of the month. And we'll be talking about that we are embraced by the love of God. And so the month of August is we are seeking the embrace of God. The moment we shall receive and feel the love of Christ in our lives. And so the theme of the month will be embraced by his love. And as we talk about being embraced by his love, is that moment of life where you feel like you need nothing else than the love of Christ. You need nothing else because the love of men fails. The love of the world fails. But only the love of Christ Jesus in our lives can sustain us and keep us and make us feel that unconditional love that cannot be quoted, that cannot be measured over anything only by grace and by the love of God. And so the topic of the day, uh, in the first um, uh, day of, uh, the first Sunday of August is uh, rest for the weary. We're just assuring you, and the word of God is assuring you this morning that you need to rest from your wear. You need to rest from your worries. You need to rest from all the frustrations I'm about to make one since the month of uh, February and uh, March when Corona ilingia kwa inchi. So we need to just tell God, I need to rest now, Jehovah. I need to find a place of peace. I need to find that embrace of love from the wear and the worries of life. And when we think about wearies of life, when God is telling us that now rest from the wearies, worries of life and the worries of life, when we talk about worries, is that moment of life you feel like a pana maisha imenikalia. Umefika kwa, kwa wall and you feel like things are not working right. You're so tired. You're so tired of waiting. You're so tired of doing things to please. You're so tired you've worked all through. But how pati mazao. But God is telling us this morning, rest from your, wear, uh, from your weary. And the scriptures that were read for us, Isaiah chapter 40, and Matthew chapter 20, uh, uh, Matthew 11, from 28 to 30, and Isaiah 40, 26 to 31. It's just that moment where servants of God walifika muisho, waligonga muamba. And God is assuring them through Isaiah that yes, the young people may be weary, the young people may lose strength, they, they may faint, they may fika at the level that you feel like umefika muisho. But this, there is an assurance that Christ is our strength. 
wakati umegonga mwamba wakati umefika mwisho Christ is assuring us that there is hope there is another moment there is another chance to stand and walk again there is that moment where God is will strengthen us we shall not be weary he shall give us wings to fly over our situations and the things that ambazo zinafanya uh, you feel like you are weary you are worried and you are tired of life and i'll just uh, run through some of uh, some examples and characters in the bible who got very tired at a point that they needed only god they were great men and women of god they are great men of god in the bible walifika mahali wakasikia pana tumechoka nimechoka unless god you come through for me sijui nitaenda wapi and if you read psalm 22 and psalm 69 it gives a situation where david is very tired amekimbizwa na maadui zake there are people fighting david in the house out there there are people who are trying to bring him down Saul is here trying to kill him but the bible says that david wrote a psalm of encouragement he wrote a psalm crying out unto god and seeking the encouragement of god seeking that god may come through for his life and when he's writing psalms 22 ni wakati amefika mwisho he saying that my soul haipati haipati amani i'm so down i'm so tired of my enemies god come to my rescue my soul is so down may you come and uplift my soul and so david being a king alifika mahali akafika mwisho and so when we get tired it's not something out of norm it's not something that ambayo haitakikani It's good to be weary. It's good to be tired because at that point we find the grace of God. At that point we find to seek the face of God to come into our situation. Job chapter 1 to chapter 3. This is a man of God called Job. Mambo imemkalia. Friends out there wamemtoroka. There is a lot of death in his family. Wanyama wamekufa, mali imepotea. He's so tired that he says my heart seeks to find solace in you God. He's trying to find his space amid his trials, amid his tribulations and he's seeking and telling God now God unless you come. And that is why um, Job is saying, saying that unless I found my redeemer I know my redeemer liveth. I know he will come through for my situation. He will come and redeem the situation that I mean because mimi na nguvu zangu nimefika mwisho and so he is an example of people who got tired and weary in life bwana yesu asifiwe we have the we have prophet El- elijah at one time if you read chapter 19 this is a man of god ambaye ametenda mambo maku ameenda amepigana na the baal worshipers he has proved the true god before the prophets of baal He has done miraculous things. He has he has fought all the battles that were surrounding his mission and his ministry. But at one time after confronting the Baal worshipers and the prophet a prophet of Baal, King Ahab and Jezebel, anapata uoga. Anatorokea uh, Queen uh, Queen uh, Jezebel. And the Bible says that he got tired of running away. At one time aliambia Mungu, "Hey God, I've had enough." Lord take my life. I am better than my ancestors ambao wamekufa. They are better off. They are dead and at rest. I'm here troubled because there is a woman who is looking for me to kill and destroy my life. Aligonga mwamba, alifika mwisho. Akaomba Mungu heri nikufe kuliko nipitie yale ambayo ninapita. And sometimes there are times God does great things in our lives. But unafika mahali unasahau Mungu alitenda. Unafika mahali uliona Mungu alikuwezesha unasahau. Unaambia Mungu heri nikufe tu. It's better I die than face what I'm going through. Elijah got to that point. Elijah got to a point he seeks to die rather than live. There are times we get to a point you feel like what are tu nikufe. There are people who write notes so suicidal notes for them to die and just hii maisha ambayo imekuwa ni magumu niache but they are men of god great men of god 
walifika mahali wewe umefika but god is telling you rest from your worries bwana yesu asifiwe if you read the story of naomi this is a woman of god and naomi alikuwa in samaria and being as a, a jew you can attest that he knew she knew her god she knew a god ambaye aliwapigania but after the drought and the famine wakati alienda to the moabites alikaa huko and sent kukawa na nja and when she was coming back the na, the translation for naomi is a blessed woman a favored woman but when she was coming back she's telling his people don't call me naomi call me uchungu bitterness she's saying call me mara because amefika mahali she does not recognize the favor in her name she does not recognize the god who has fought her battles before she has not recognized god who has walked with her through sorrow and agony of losing her husband and her sons she's seeing trouble she's seeing a woman who has lost everything and wakati mwingine tunafika kama naomi you have lost your children you have lost your business you have lost friends you have lost touch no mefika mahali unasema hapana i believe now my name is mara pain agony and sorrow it has happened to naomi it can happen to you na pengine hapo ndo umefika wakati unasikia there is a lot of pain and agony in your life but god is telling you even in your agony in your sorrow there is a god who can redeem there is a god of second chance bwana yesu asifiwe and if we read chapter 1 to chapter 4 of uh, ruth we can see how god restored and redeemed the life of naomi through uh, ruth when you read uh, john chapter 4 verse 6 the bible says that uh, jesus was coming through from uh, Jud- uh, galilee t- uh, going uh, to judea and he was walking with his disciples now wakati walifika mahali at the entrance to samaria, samaria the bible says that jesus sat on the well that was dug by jacob now wakati alika pale the bible says that jesus was very tired he was very weary and he told his disciples go back to, to go go to uh, judea and buy something to eat because i think we are tired and we need some strength and it was about sasita zamchana and you can imagine walking since morning paka sasita you could imagine these are people who used to walk long distances for mission and ministry and so jesus got very tired and the bible says when he sat on the wall uh, the the walls of the well of uh, jacob the samaritan woman came and met jesus and so this is a moment where jesus is very tired he has walked through the day he has done a lot yet he's tired the bible says that god is so strong and we draw our strength in jesus christ but this is jesus christ he's god he's almighty all powerful all strong but we find his incarnation we find jesus as a human being we find jesus walking like a human being getting tired getting weary and so when you get weary learn that jesus became weary learn that jesus became hungry learn that jesus at one point got tired he's an example that we are allowed to get tired we are allowed to get weary of situations we are allowed to get just getting to that point unasema enough is enough jesus got to that point and got very tired very tired that is a point where you need the strength of god that is a point you need to work towards seeking the face of god work towards releasing yourself to god and tell god i'm tired if jesus you got tired you can understand my situation genesis chapter 2 verse 1 to 2 it records and said that god after creating heavens and earth on the seventh day god rested and there is no way you can rest unless you're tired god himself got tired after creation 
God did his work seven, six days. And on the seventh day, he anointed and consecrated the day for rest. That is an indication that even God himself got tired. And it's just a prophetic way to show us that God understands that we get tired at one point. It's something that God is assuring us that he knows, he understands. Kuna wakatu neza fika mwisho kwa life yako. Kuna wakati mambo ineza kukusukuma mpaka ufike mwisho. And he's giving us an assurance that when you get to that point where you are tired, where you are restless, where you are weary, you are frustrated, you are going through tough time as a young person, you are going through tough time as a parent, as a young person, as a man, a woman of God. God is telling us, I got tired at one point. I needed rest. Who are you not to need rest? And God is telling us in, Psalm, in Isaiah chapter 40, where we read that even if the young people get tired, even when the young people become weary, he shall grow us from that point of getting weary and give us strength. He shall encourage us. He shall build us again. He shall place you at a point where you shall feel that mungu wa mekutendea. And sometimes when we get to that place where we hit the rock, that is a place of God. That is a place of mercy. That is a place of grace. It's a place where God comes into our lives. And we, uh, we forget that it's not about us. It's a place where God shows us that life is not about you. It's about God. How is it peke yako? Neinatuonyesha nguvu zetu na mawazo yetu. We can come to a point hatuna nguvu tena. And that is where we meet God. That is where we find grace. That is where we find the goodness of God. That is where we experience the working of God in our lives. And we need to recognize that, that, that being weary does not mean we are weak. When you get to a point you're tired, it doesn't mean you're weak. I may be weak out here. But I'm not weak inside. I may be weak inside, but I know and I have the assurance that my Redeemer liveth. As Job declared in his heart and prophesied and declared in his, with his lips, I know my friends have forsaken me. I know I'm tired of the things nime pitia, but I know my Redeemer liveth. And we need to know that as Hebrews chapter 12, verse 12 says, that strengthen your tired hands and your wicked limbs. We need to strengthen ourselves, people of God. This is not a moment where to need kukufa. This is not a moment your feeble limbs. Utafika pale chini. At one time, Isaiah was down there. Alikuwa mefika muisho. Alikuwa kwa majivu. He was all over in the dust, trying to find the face of God, trying to cry out unto God and telling God, come and redeem me. I am tired, Lord. I cannot make it alone. But God told Isaiah, wake up from the dust. Shake off the dust. And this is the moment God is calling you as people of God. Wake up from the dust. Wake up from your tired situation. Wake up from your worries. Shake off the dust. I am ready to stre strengthen you. And Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, the Bible says, Come to me, all who are, are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Just tell Jesus, you have given me an assurance in your word that you shall give me rest. And he says, I know your yokes are very heavy, but my yoke is very easy. Water to bebe yesu mizigo, because they are very easy. And the only way to carry the burdens of Jesus Christ is just pouring out whatever has tired you, whatever is airing you, whatever is bringing you down. Christ is assuring us, I have embraced you with my love. I have assured you with my word that yes, your yokes are very heavy. You are burdened, but please give me your burdens. The only place we need to be 
is a place where you need to give your burdens to Christ. Is a place you need just to release yourself to the will of God. Is a place you need kujimwaka mbele za Mungu. And never be ashamed to pour your heart to God. Never be ashamed to call unto Jesus. Never be so weary and a too lale and a too fika mahali cry out to God. I learned from David. David alikuwa na fika mahali anamwaga roho yake kwa Mungu. Anaambia Mungu, I know I'm a sinner. I know I don't deserve to stand before you, O oh God. But this is me, your servant. I'm going through this. I've done this. And God could just look at his heart. The contrite spirit, the humble spirit, crying out to God. Na Mungu alikuwa anamsikia. Just pour your heart to God. And the love, the agape love of God is assuring you this morning that you are my servant. You are my child. You are my beloved child. You have been bought at a price. And God loves you with a love that cannot be quoted with anything. And that is why he's telling us this morning, rest from your worries. Rest from your worries. Rest from your troubles. Vanessa Sifiwe. Isaiah 40 verse 31. God will renew our strength. It doesn't matter how less you are. It doesn't matter how weak you are. He's assuring us through his word that he will renew our strength. And that we need to recognize in that. That mungu anajua umekosa nguvu. Anajua umefika mahali nguvu imekuishia. And that is why he's telling you, I'll renew it. How is it renew kitu ambayo haijaisha? Kwa tuna renew DL kwa sababu imeisha? Urani renew contract kwa sababu imeisha. Anajua nguvu zako zimeisha. That is why he's telling you, I know you cannot renew it for yourself. I know you cannot strengthen yourself. But I shall renew your strength. You shall mount on like eagles. You shall soar high and might. You shall go high. God shall raise a bar of strength, a bar of blessing, a bar of grace and might in your life. Because he shall renew your strength. Be strengthened, people of God. And in amidst all what you are going through, remember God has assured you that rest from the worries and worries of life. He has you in his heart. And he minds you, he cares for you. And that is why he loves you. May God bless you and do you good. Shalom. Let us pray. Father, we thank you and we worship you because of your word. You have called us to rest at this moment in time, Lord. We know there are many things people are going through at this season, Lord. We know there are many families who are struggling and going through tough time. We know there are many young people who are confused because things are not working in favor for their lives. There are many plans men had over 2020, Lord. But zote ni kama zimesimama mungu wa Israeli. There are many plans we had for our families. Now they're stagnating. We don't know what will happen tomorrow. Our nation is crying out because the economy is not favoring your people. And people are getting tired at home. When you know wamesimamishwa kazi, they are tired staying at home, sleeping. Yet they should be working for their families. There are many who are tired because of their marriages, oh God. There are many who are getting tired because their children are giving them a hard time. There are many people who are tired because... They have stagnated. They are not progressing in life, Lord. There are many who are tired because friends and people have deserted them like Job, Lord. There are many who are going through battles of life like David, Lord. There are many who have been left by their loved ones. They have lost their loved ones. They are so tired. They don't know what to happen, Lord. Yet you are assuring us this morning that we need to rest, Lord. Lord, we are resting with the assurance that you're working something, Lord, for us. We are resting knowing you're working behind the scenes, Lord, to strengthen us and to renew our strength in whatever God we are going through. We are resting, Lord Almighty, knowingly that God, you're raising a platform for us to eat and dine, Lord Almighty, even with our enemies. The people who are fighting us, Lord, they shall see you, God, uplifting us, walking with us, creating and making testimonies for, testimonies for our lives. 
to the honor and the glory of your name. We don't have strength, Lord. We are disappointed. We are frustrated. But we seek your face this morning. Mahali ambako tumefika mwisho Jehovah. Come through for us, oh dear master. Where our doors have been shut, Lord Almighty. As your word assures us in Revelation. That behold, you are opening a door for us. And nobody and nothing can shut the doors you are opening for us this season. God Almighty, we are looking up to you, Lord. And because you assure us that whatever we shall pray in your name, Jesus Christ, you shall gladly give us. You shall gladly give us as your sons. Because God, we are the children after your inheritance, Jesus Christ. The heritage we have, as you told Ezekiel, Lord Almighty, if, even if we go through tough times, even if we go through a pain, as you told Isaiah, even if we go through waters, Oh God, we shall not be carried, oh God Almighty. We shall not be burnt because God, you have good plans of our lives. And we are looking forward to a future, Lord Almighty, as we assured Jeremiah. A future and a hope. That is what God we are possessing. That is what God we are running with. That the future you have for us, the strength you are, you are giving us, the renewal of life and the things God Almighty you have for, for us, oh God Almighty. And the rest you're giving us, O God Almighty, it's something we shall continually testify that many may know that you've come and done for us. We worship you. May you continue to bless the young people, parents, and all people, God Almighty, who are listening to your word. May you meet them at the point of their need, Lord Almighty. May you strengthen them and may their feeble lips and their weak hands, Lord Almighty, See you and feel you, O oh God. We worship you and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God bless you and do you good and continue to strengthen you at your place of weakness. Amen? Amen. So we shall share the words of grace and we shall uh, end our youth service this morning. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit is with us now and forevermore. Amen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. So I shall we, uh, invite the praise in worship to lead us in a moment of worship. God bless you and to your God. Amen.
Bodoh